Yo, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Jinto. Yep, that is not Photoshop. That is not extreme editing. I got six maxed out builds. And right now, I'm making build number seven. Actually, take a look at this. I have a lot of builds I've been working on. Like all of these builds right here. Oh my God, that's a whole video on its own. This guy right here, my two-way finisher, point guard, six, seven, 201 pounds. Hold on, do I got something for you real quick? Do I got something to share with you real quick? Look at this. How come all the best builds have the most basic names? Now, I did tweak since I took this screenshot, but I made this same build, tweak some stuff again, and they named it a what do they name it they named it a two-way inside playmaking shot creator or something like that some long sophisticated exquisite name which makes other players look at me like i know what i'm doing at this game this is a brown t name but i promise you this build is deadly like let me see if i can uh this build isn't a Gento Matumbo build, man. I'm gonna keep it real with you. My original plan was to get back to the basics, snap some ankles, kill it from downtown, 6-7-201-7-3 wing. This is where things get actually interesting. If it was up to me, I would definitely go with a higher rise up. But the thing is, I needed a 80 ball handle for what I'm trying to do, and I couldn't do that with uh believe it or not layup is not that important close shot is way more important than layup like look at all the badges that affect close shot mouse in the house is 92 on a close shot as you guys see right here i got that 92 they want me to get a 97 driving layup just to get the same badge i can get for upgrading my close shot I'm going up against little dudes at point guard. Maybe they're gonna be 6'6", maybe they'll be 6'7", but chances are I'm not running center. And if I do, it's just, even with it maxed out, it's like they're not gonna give it to me, so I'm all right with it being on gold. Standing dunk. With my Gento Matumbo build, it unlocked a whole new way of playing this game, which is why I have standing dunk on 80. It gives me the Shaq dunk packages. I know, I know, I know what you're thinking. You're 6'7", you can't get it. I took a look at the requirements. It had nothing to do with my height. As long as I have the standing dunk, I think I needed like a driving dunk to go up to, and of course my 80 vert, I can get it. And I'm good with that. Post control. This badge right here, Dream Shake, is so powerful. Same with back down Punisher. Oh my God. Post spin technician is literally only good on Hall of Fame. So I got everything I need right here. Now take a look at my shooting. I know what you're thinking. Oh, Gento, you can't shoot. Oh my God, you can't shoot. I have two three point sleeves. So my three point shots in 80, I'm good with that. I don't even need that many shooting badges because I get four badges from Rebirth and then I get what, six or seven or, or whatever the total is. I think the grand total would just be seven. So I'm good with that. My free throws out of 67 in case I got to play rec or one of those events for double XP that has free throws. I don't want to be an inside threat and then I can't finish at the free throw line. Pass accuracy. I was going to go for 80 so I can get dimer on silver. Then I was like, nah, man, you miss wide open. That's a GG, man. I just need to run with new teammates. Perimeter defense. Now, this is actually what's fun about this build. This isn't a Gento Matambo build at all. I'm not going for blocks. I will be going for rebounds. I will be trying to clamp you up. I will be trying to steal the ball from you. But I'm just not going to go for blocks. I'm just going to have to right stick up and uh, hope for the best. Hope that me clamping you up is good enough to get the stop. I have so many other builds that can get blocks i don't need another build that can do that 
91 rebound gives me a high enough attribute so I can get gold. All my other builds, they have silver, so I said, you know what, let me go ahead and get gold. Speed at 79 and acceleration is at 77, as high as it can go. At first, I had it at like 70 and 60 or something, but I ended up making some adjustments and said, you know what, this is actually gonna work. Strength at a 44 is perfect. It doesn't have to be this high. It doesn't have to be maxed out because I'm at point guard. I'm not backing down centers. I'm not backing down power forwards. But if I have a clean matchup that's six, seven and under, and you ain't got no strength, it's a GG. Vertical is an 80 and stamina. Gentle Matumbo has a 95 and because I do the Gatorade and I have unlimited Gatorade boost, I'm straight. Plus, with a build like this, it's going to teach me to stop wasting stamina when I don't need to. Power back down to spotter precision. That's all you need. Actually, I can't get glass clearing dimes or see the future or anything with my gold, but I'm cool with that because I got every badge I need for 1v1s. If I'm just going to keep taking it inside, I got finishing, sharp. I never really use limitless range, but spotter precision is amazing. Um, when it comes to lockdown, I like using extreme clamps. Perimeter pat, perimeter badge drop is pretty solid, but this stuff right here is just GG. If I slap on advanced post moves, you're done. If I use post playmaking, that will make up for me not having a high enough dimer for my random teammates. Post shot daggers. I probably won't really use post shots as much as my Gentel Matambo build, but I haven't even really uploaded that many videos on, on Gentel Matambo, so. Ladies and gentlemen, that pretty much wraps up episode zero. We got a new build. I'm gonna be grinding this from start to finish, and as you've seen in the screenshot, originally, this was a Luka Doncic name. Now, this is a Penny Hardaway main, and I just cannot wait to actually get into the series. 100% no money spent. Every time I spend VC, I'm going to record it. I want you to see this 100%. Hall of Fame difficulty only. I want you to witness greatness. Hit that subscribe button subscribe with all notifications you gotta also tap that bell icon make sure it says all because this my career series is gonna be epic this right here might even be my 2k23 preview deal but then again with 2k i mean they're looking at these low three pointers like wait a minute sniper is too op wait a minute real shot percentage is too op Follow me on twitch.tv slash ymdgento if you want to see this build in action live. Thanks for watching.